Yo, what's up everybody? What's up you two? And back with another video. The video up to part two of um, you know, of um of um of um Mother Mike real quick. Cause the video I'm talking about was Mother Mike was influenced by Boosie or either he was misguided. But the video I'm talking about when why um no Mother Mike was influenced by Boosie or either he was um misguided, so as I did about this um last year, you know, about the whole thing about Boosie, um, you know, got died um yeah, I said Boosie got um got um you know off going charge and how and how my mic is doing like prison. So um as I did video about it last year to where like um the video got more likes and more um shares but um and so the video I did last year, you know they talk about the whole thing about how he got um got got charged with murdering um Bleak um and Lucy and both of them got murked in you know in Baton Rouge but um and so I'm talking about um you know why was he was influenced by him and why he got misguided by him doing the murder so you know or you know you know either he was I say, I say using his youth, you know, to kill Bone. So, here we go. Okay, I think Mother Mike was, you know, got influenced by Boosie, you know, to where Boosie had, um, knew Mother Mike, though, in the past few years. I think he had, um, knew Mother when, you know, when he was staying back in Rouge at the time to where, like, Boosie and, uh, you know, Mother Mike was basically um, partners, you know, they were partners and, and somehow they was, you know, into this rapping, um, you know, rapping, um, you know, lane to where, you know, he started rapping, you know, and so I think my mic got more influenced, you know, by Boozy, because he was a rapper, though, in his, um, you know, in Baton Rouge, because, he, and so I think he got influenced by the lifestyle and the money and the, um, fame of it, so, and so I think my mic was more, um, I said, yeah, I said he got more fluent with the, uh, uh, you know, basically the whole lifestyle of being a rapper, of him being, um, you know, I say much more of a street nigga, though, you know, a street dude, you know, that was much more into trouble, and I think he was more troubled by him being, you know, I say more exposed to violence and stuff, you know, at a young age, but, and so I think my mind was more influenced by the, the whole, um, basically the street life element, how streets can really can be a trap, you know, if you are, you know, a real street dude means that you probably might, I think, get violent like, stuff in the streets by, you know, drug selling and violence. But, and by that, my mic was basically, you know, got more influenced by the whole rap lifestyle to where Boosie became, you know, a well known figure in, the, uh, basically, the whole Baton Rouge city, man. And, you know, how about Roots got a lot of, you know, enemies out there. And, you know, and I say a lot of my haters out there. and and so, and I'm an enemies, but, it, and something about Mike was basically, got much more MacGyver in life to where, you know, yeah, I feel like he got much more, uh, I say, misguided towards basically him being a, you know, a screw dude, he got in trouble, you know, with the law and how he got a lot of trouble, you know, with the um things he did. And, but I think, you know, once you a dude, you know, a teenager that, you know, yeah, I said, if you were a, uh, uh I say young black man who just, you know, misguided in the streets, you know, they all very much misguided by basically, you know, basically the street route by them, you know, selling drugs and doing that stuff and how he was, you know, got, I say, misguided by Boosie and how Boosie, you know, I say one of his um, friends at the time and um, I think he, I don't know, I feel like things had turned to a different, um, wrong turn, like to where, you know, to where, my mic got most influenced by the um the whole lifestyle. And so I feel like, you know, he was a dude that was, you know, you know, got much more evidence in his heart to where he killed Boosie's um cousin Bleak, man, over nothing, man, over I don't know what Yeah, I feel like it was uh, Yeah, I feel like his death was basically hit though. And how Marlo had killed cut people in Baton Rouge and, and and so I feel like the whole thing about his life and how he had turned to a killer. And like killers can kill without any type of um, remorse, you know, they kill anybody for real, but 
And so I think Mother Mike got, I say, much more influence with the lifestyle of, you know, of Boosie and how Boosie trying to, you know, have the type of type of um influence hard to where he was, you know, trying to I sit down with Boosie though in this click, you know, how they went sour after that, but and so I think and so I think Mike was basically, you know, I say misguided by the fact to where he, you know, got took advantage of, you know, on how someone had told him to kill on um, Lucy and Bleak, you know, all the people that, you know, that was killed in Baton Rouge, but how he was, you know, on how his mind was kind of much more fucked up to where, you know, he'll kill, you know, basically anybody in the streets, you know, they could be enemies or top hitters, but, and, and so I think, like, um, yeah, I feel like, uh, I say, like, you know, Boosie felt, but Mike was basically trying to betray him as a friend, but, um, to where he, Trying to tell on Boosie about what he did, and, and but I know, and so I know it's kind of an old news, you know, that one do for this um video, but and it's, I did a video last year about him and how he, you know, is you know is in prison right now for the um murder and he never ever might not get out of prison, and so this video is about him being, you know, I say I say misguided by the fact that, to where he is, you know, doing life prison, and how his mindset change. For being a killer. And, and so I think like my mind got a type of um you know type of master where you know if yeah I feel like if someone crosses you as a person means that you know your mindset is to get them back or take revenge on them. Like and so I think uh yeah I think but um if I think Boosie got to a few with some rappers in Baton Rouge and how he used uh um you know either him got himself to do the murder for Boosie. Either he was, you know, got caused to it or someone told him to do it. But if I think, like, you know, like, once you a dude, they trying to, you know, build a reputation off of killing niggas in the streets. Mr. that you said it as a, you know, a killer or a type of hitter, you know, call it. But, and so I feel like, you know, my mind was the type of dude that was, you know, a killer, you know, to where he killed, you know, Two rappers, three rappers, you know, about Rouge, how the whole city was basically on top of war zone at the. And so I think, you know, like, I don't know, I feel like he felt kind of, I said, much more misguided in the streets, you know, on how the streets doesn't have no rules at all. And so, like, you know, if you do the murder, you know, that's on you, though. You know, if you're a killer that's. Have nine bodies, ten bodies, miss that, you know, you can say somebody who is a type of um vicious animal, a dude who kills anybody, but as I think, you know, his um life was cut short by the violence, how he violence had basically put him in jail for a long time. And how he had to do a lot of time in prison for it for real. And so I think like uh the whole thing about you know, about my Mike and Boosie and basically on uh, yeah, I said a friendship came probably more of a friend mode uh between you know Bush trying to help, you know, Mother Mike out uh, or something, but it's I think you know both um it's all uh, I feel like like both of them are very much, you know, that type of um click, you know, tight click, you know, they very much, you know, know each other but and I think, you know, my Mike, you know, got influenced by Boost by his um own lifestyle of being a rapper and how and yeah, yeah, I feel like my mic got influenced, you know, by the whole, um, you know, I said about him being a street dude and how he got influenced by the whole street life, you know, in the rap game at that, but, and so I feel like his own, you know, mindset was basically being on how, how he should kill, I said somebody for Boosie, or how Boosie felt more respected, missed that. Mama Mike, we had a business for real though, on how he would kill, you know, any type of dude they trying to, trying to talk about bad about Boosie, mistake, you know, he would do anything to get that type of, um, fame, you know, if he killed nobody, but, and so I think, like, you know, he was a, um, a dude that got, like, trouble in his life, and how he got choked by the whole, um, screech. Yeah. And so I feel like the whole, uh, um, so I believe the whole true life, can put you in jail though, or you know, have you put in jail or dead on? Um, basically, grab your how 
it, it like you know if you are a dude that is you know call up the streets means that the streets it can be a dangerous war zone and you know if we can you know I say kill you and put you in jail for a long time and so I feel like the whole boost versus I smell a mic um friendship you know you know it went like kind of went south because you know I think. Boosie here went to jail, and um, let me see. I think I might try to tell on, on Boosie though, about what happened. So, so I feel like you know Boosie felt like he had to leave a cut uh him on his life and how he felt like his friend might tell on on him. But so I feel like you know it's more of a thing where like you know like him as a person is have to do the crime for him or you know or have him do anything that would. Really, Cause him to put himself in the worst situation ever is put in a jail cell. And so I believe, you know, he was, yeah, I feel like I might got, I say much more, I say, was got about the whole street life and how he is, you know, a dude that is probably might never know what he's doing in life and how he is, you know, calling something, putting a type of bad. Was just to where he would have crashed out or go to prison. And so he did his thing. You know, he's prison right now for the murder. And he's never ever, probably never ever be out of jail for soon. Because he probably, you know, might do his time. And he, he probably might be there to get old, man. Old and gray. But, um, so I believe he is a, you know, I think he's more type of, um, than to where he had to face those charges. You know, murder charges that he was, I said, accused of doing, but so I think my mic and Boosie friendship basically was a toxic one to, to where, you know, Boosie basically had to cut off my mic from his life and how Boosie, I said, went further in his life, you know, I said, on career, how he had to, um, I said, move on from the whole life that, you know, I said, caused him being put in jail is his. You know, um, I said I started being a rapper, so or so I, I yeah, I, uh, so yeah, I feel like the whole short life, if you can put you in two places, get in jail, so but um, so yeah, I believe that, see, yeah, I do believe he was, uh, yeah, I feel like he was kind of was you know misguided though in some ways by him being you know, I said screw do with that, but so you know so so. So much yeah, like coming in and subscribe to peace. I'm Mario. Take care.